hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be showing us how to make this lovely basque um bustier top so um the front is basque but the back waistline is straight okay so it's a very simple tutorial making use of our basic bodice pattern okay so i'll explain to us how i started the basic bodice okay i've got the link to this video in the description box it's on our website and it's also here on youtube so i'll drop it for us to watch but in the meantime I'll explain to us how i drafted it okay so i used 21 inch for the length of the front shoulder to you know the hemline that's 21 inch for the front then the width of my bust that is two inches so what i just do is 21 minus 2 will give me 19. so that give me the length of the back which is 19. get it yeah so i have shoulder to my chest line shoulder to chest line is half of my armhole circumference measurement okay so i use 8.5 shoulder to bust point shoulder to under bust and shoulder to where the blouse will stop okay that's not the real um hemline for the front anyway yeah then on the chest line i measured sorry shoulder and chest line i measured half of my across back and i joined it together then chest line half cut off my bust plus one inch for seam allowance here cut off my waist then i have two inches for my dart intake here so i'm marking cut off my waist plus two inches for the dart that i'm cutting out right and then one inch for side seam allowance so i linked everything together okay then to get my bust pan which is my nipple to nipple measurements okay okay this is my boss that anyway for the boss pan that is my input in info measurement mine is eight so i'm measuring half of that that is four to draw that middle line then i'll link it to um my mid shoulder so i'm marking one, one inch on the waistline one quarter inch on both sides of the under bust line then link it directly to my mid shoulder over there okay so i think you should just watch the tutorial because i'm just explaining verbally you need to watch the basic body tutorial this is my back pattern same thing same thing only that the, the waist length is shorter okay and then i have my dart on the back waist yeah basically so try to watch the video i explain in details how to draft this for the neckline i did three by one for the back for the front i did um three by four so i'm just separating the front and back pieces so this is my back and this is the front i'm cutting two of this on fabric and lining that's for my back pattern then for the front i'll just cut out the excesses okay so let me trim out the excess on my um, waistline now for those of us that don't know how to i don't know this method of drafting them in basic bodies you can still use your method okay so when we get to the part where you want to convert it into a basque then you can apply it from there so i'm just trimming out um all the that okay so like i said i think you should watch the basic body tutorial it's uh, it's like almost 20 minutes on how to draft a basic body so it will be easy for you to understand this tutorial so i'm just going to close my um boss that are seen like so then when i close it i'm just going to do what it's called three because from what you can see you can see that the side seam line is not straight again so i'm going to I'm going to throw it with um my ruler but let me close the boss that first with my masking tape and then i'm going to use my ruler to throw it like so yeah so i'm just going to trim out the unwanted part on the pattern paper so i hope you can see that this video is also available on our website you can download it for free yes on wellala.com just search for it all right so my front my two front pieces are ready okay so now i want to create the bass effect to do that i will close the two front pieces like so temporarily what's it going to open it but i'll just close it temporarily like so so after closing it i will add it to another paper underneath and draw my waistline like i'm using my marker to draw the waistline then i'll extend downwards now with um about six or seven inches depending on how or let's say five inches it depends on how long you want the blouse to be so i did six then you can have a very sharp v or you can use the curved part of your ruler to have like a curved 
um basque line so i'm using my pattern master to do that so if it's too curvy i can still use um i can still make it uh, like a little bit less curvy right so i'll just reposition my curve like so so i think i'll just go for this second one the second one looks more sharper the other one is curvy depends on what you want so i'm going to i will cut out now then that temporary um closing we did there i'm going to open it up so by the time you do that you're going to have your bass corset sorry did i say corset sorry your bass was you know most of the styles that we've seen are bass corsets but this is a bustier it's okay that's why i said corset so i'm just going to trim out and my front pattern is ready okay so the first piece is going to be cut on fold while the second piece you can i'm going to cut two of it so this is two and this will be on fold for fabric and lining right and this is my back pattern too very very easy so next thing i'll just go ahead and cut everything on my um, fabric now let me quickly show us how to cut the sleeve for the sleeve is pretty simple this is my basic sleeve pattern so i'm just going to divide this um okay my my sleeve length is 15 okay so i'll divide the wrist opening into four equal parts okay so i'm measuring um like 1.5 inch apart I just need to have like four parts it doesn't have to be equal anyway okay so i'll link each of those points to um the points on my sleeve if you don't know how to draft a basic sleeve i'll also drop the link in the description box okay it's a very simple tutorial okay so now i'm just linking all the points together like so and then i'm going to slash through okay you know most of the tutorial we've been doing is you're we're always slashing to the point but now we're slashing through that like we're cutting everything out because we want added fullness on both the wrists um or the sleeve opening and also the um the sleeve the armhole area so i'm going to slash through like i'm cutting through okay so i'll just cut it open like so okay like this and then we'll transfer this directly to our fabric to cut out you don't, you don't need to put this on your pattern paper but if you want you can so that i can keep the pattern for future use okay so now um to cut out the sleeve okay so i measured 17 inches from the edge of my fabric meanwhile i'm cutting the two sleeves together okay so uh, remember to label the um patterns as the sleeve then i left about um four inches away from the fold okay like i said i'm cutting the two sleeves together so i'm leaving about four inches away from the edge of the fold okay you can see that i folded the two sleeves together then i'll pin this together so i'm going to mark um like three inches away and I'm just going to pin it now. Like I said before, the length of the sleeve on the pattern is 15 inches, but I've measured um, 17 inches on the fabric. You can see my marking there. So all the pieces of the sleeve must land on that line. Okay, so this is the second part of the sleeve. You can see that I labeled it. This one I want to do four inches apart. I really want it to be full. And um, in case you want to ask, I use one whole yard for the sleeves alone because. I wanted um it to be full. But it didn't, it didn't even come out as full as I wanted. But guys, I had just two yards, one yard for the main top and three one yard for the blouse. So the next one is so four inches apart. Okay. So but if you want yours to be fuller, you know that you're going to use more than one yard. Okay, so this is the third one. And then for the last one, I think I just did about three inches. I did about three or four inches too, but yeah, I think I did three based on av availability of fabric because at this point I had just barely one inch for the um, side seam allowance. So you can see. So just pin it together and then um, I'm adding one inch side seam allowance. Okay, so let me trim out. I'm just trimming all the unwanted parts. Okay, here. And then I'm adding one inch. One inch to the side seam allowance. Then for the top part here, Okay, I'll just use my French curve to first of all create the curve from the top. Make sure you leave half inch before you start drawing for seam allowance. So I'm just going to draw it like this. You can see that 
so i'll just link it all the way to the down then you don't need to follow you don't need to follow the shape of the paper because obviously um because we've slashed it you know it's looking scattered so you just need to just draw a long curve so i'm just going to cut i'll add my half inch seam allowance like so okay and then my one inch side seam allowance as seen like i said it's a very it's an easy tutorial but if you're a beginner it's not an easy tutorial that's the truth you know most of us that are still novices or beginners we want to attend projects that are not for beginners start from this crash start from very simple stuff okay so watch the basic body tutorial and the basic tutorial you know try to sew shift dresses first before you start doing things like this so this is my front piece uh, so if you want to you can add interfacing or not the ankara is a big one it's on the very big one so i don't need to put interfacing right so this is my front and yeah my front pieces so i'll just go ahead and join with half inch seam allowance together then i've also cut this on my lining just i, I didn't show us it's the same thing yeah so then for the back piece i'll just go ahead and notch the dart points over there and um yeah i'll notch the dot the dart so that when i want to sew the dart on the fabric i will know um the exact point i'm just notching my dart i'll go ahead and sew the dart on my back piece okay and i've also cut this on my fabric sorry on my lining so i'll do the same thing okay so i've joined the front pieces together you see so now i will place the back piece together the front so the first thing i'll do is to sew the shoulder i'll sew the shoulder first half inch seam allowance the second one to the shoulder to half inch seam allowance then i'll go ahead to sew my side seam side seam allowance is a one inch here okay one inside seam allowance and um, the other side of the blouse one inside seam allowance so guys i've joined the shoulder and the waist seam, sorry this um, side seam of the fabric i see that see the box um, area of the blouse and i'm also doing the same thing with my lining okay my lining this is my lining here the same thing so now I'll use my lining to tone the neckline together half inch seam allowance i'm going to turn um the hemline with half inch seam allowance okay and then i also go ahead to fix my zipper on the dress sorry on the blouse so i will do that and i'll show us um the next thing to do so it's pretty simple like i said turn the neckline first the hemline and i'll fix the zipper so yeah i'm done this is how it looks like and i already fixed one sleeve so i'll show us how to do the second one so you can see how the inside of my blouse is okay you don't need to line the sleeve it's not necessary honestly so for the sleeve you're going to pick one of the sleeve like so okay so the first thing is you're going to do is to sew the side seam one is seam allowance then you do a roll hem for the hem of the sleeve roll it round so half inch twice round then leave an opening this is my opening here so this opening i will pass my elastic so for the elastic what you do is you measure your bicep measurement here so mine is 12 cut exactly 12 yes exactly 12 because you're still going to tie it after passing the elastic through so now that i'm done i will tie about one one inch okay so i'll be left in about 10 inches so it can stretch and grip my arms very well so i'll just tie it like so and then close that um part of the seam like i'll trim here and then i'll um pull it in and close that part okay then um next thing i'll fold my sleeve into two and then i'm going to notch i want to get the midpoint so that when i'm gathering the sleeve around the arm armhole of my blouse it is gathered evenly it's not on one just on one side so i'm going to um the part where i notch now or let me start from the side seam of the sleeve i will pin the side seam of the sleeve with the side seam of the blouse like so i'll pin it together so here you can do tiny plates or tiny gathers whichever one is still fine then the part where i notched at the top part of the sleeve okay i'm also going to pin it to the shoulder the shoulder seam like that you can see that so as it is um we have excess there is excess on the sleeve definitely okay so i'm just going to gather i'll do tiny pleats to make sure that i place it back to fit into the armhole on both sides of the sleeve and that was why i said you should 
notch the center so that you gather it evenly okay so this is the other side the same thing i want to do tiny plates or gathers and i'll gather it around the armhole okay and that's all so i'll do that and i'll show us what it looks like yeah so this is what it looks like on the mannequin like this top is so beautiful so beautiful yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section it's beautiful so frequently asked questions did i use lining yes i didn't line the sleeve i used two yards of ankara fabric one yard for the sleeve one yard for the main bodies yeah let me put it on for us to see so this is how it looks like on me like i'm sorry that the video is upside down it's very very beautiful now i'll show the back now so if you enjoyed this tutorial kindly give it a thumbs up do not forget to like subscribe and share Thank you for watching.